previously. So it's one thing for me to tell you guys, it's another thing for you to see it. Test your might. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your one and only host, the Cosmic Jedi. Welcome back to my channel. So now, you open a world, see the world has changed compared to when we started the game. Hope I can include that in, in the edits. So this is a regular creatures I'm used to normally seeing. So if you guys remember when I started this video, the world is very different compared to now. Nice one. Nice one. So you see the way I just moved just now to handle those douchebags. I don't, know if, I don't know if you can hear the world. Just look at that. Look at the aesthetics, for example. Just look at the aesthetics. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I think this might be a two-parter or three-parter um, um, review video. You know, sometimes YouTube doesn't like uh, my videos being too long. Because they, it's like they stress me when it comes to uploading the videos onto the platform. I don't think I have any keys on me. Sometimes you meet like we weapon chests like this that are, too, um, that are locked. You need a special key to open them. Um, when I just died... The ether that I had or that I picked up still stayed the same. Now these two chests are different from this chest here. So that's normally a weapons chest or a special items chest. Whereas this this two chests can give you random gifts, random tools, just like a random chest basically. Or enemies can just pop out and there you go. 15% chance to retain consumable. Consumable is like if you get like a health health um item to use to boost your health, or if you get like a, a weapon, not a weapon, a power tool, something to help you during your playthrough, basically. Oh, there you go. Another tool. Nice. Look at the world, for example. There's some breakable items in the world. Trees you can't really destroy. Statues you can. And each time you do a kill without getting hit by an enemy, you um, your proficiency or the, the efficiency of your weapon increases. That reload bar I was showing you guys earlier on gets wider so that way when you're fighting someone, you don't... Hmm. I don't know if I can cover that gap actually. Can I? Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Mobility is something else in this game. It is absolutely something else. They ain't got this on Hell Divers, man. They ain't got this on Hell Divers. There's a little item there. Some items sometimes can be positive, some can be negative. This is a good example. You pick up this key. Remember the chest we had upstairs? If I pick this up, it's saying I can use four ether. I mean, six ether to clen cleanse it. I need six ether to cleanse it. I've only got four. If I pick it up, it may or will affect my health. Malfunction probability high. Malignant meaning it's like, um, for lack of a better term, like maybe a virus or something that's going to affect my health. So I can pick it up now and show, show you guys what it's, what it's going to do to my health. No, it's, it's done nothing. I can reduce oh, it's re reduce um, efficiency by 30%. So that means if I take damage from any creature, each time I pick up the health to fill up my health bar, it won't go to the fullest. It'll just either meet halfway or quarter way. So let's say I, if I pick up a particular item that's supposed to maximize my, maximize my health bar to the fullest, when I pick it up with this um, a function on, it wouldn't let me do, it wouldn't let me fill up my health to the, to the maximum. It'll just keep it at half or less than half. And the, the requirements for me to remove the, that malfunction is to get uh, kill 10 hostiles. Sometimes it's very specific. You can't kill the hostiles without using um, a gun. It'll let you, I don't want to spoil this here. There's something here that, yeah, it's a tool. But then again, there are tools and items you get in the game as you progress, but there's no spoiler here per se. I just don't want to, you know what, screw it. If you're going to buy the game, you're going to buy the game. I'm just doing a review for the game. But I wouldn't include the story spoilers. Maybe some items, yes, but not stories. This is another nice item. Um, earlier on, you saw that little uh, machine that was shooting those beams at me. That thing I just picked up right now. It allowed me to disable them in any room. So if there's 10 of them in any room, once I hit that little consumable item, that's a consumable. Once I hit that, all those, they're called turrets. All those turrets just stand still and it makes it easier for me to deal with any other thing in the room. Normally those turrets would be like four or six in a room plus flying creatures and boy, you'd be kicking your ass. Hell divers ain't, ain't doing that. <laughs> Helldivers 2 ain't doing that. Damn, son. So now, this is another, you could say, consumable or creatures that she, Celine, can put on her body based on the augmentation thing I was talking about earlier on. 
But the difference is with this one, it'll show you the pros and cons or the, the good and the bad. You, you can attach a parasite that will help you um, find more currency, for example, or pick up more currency faster than usual or the currency you pick up after every kill. It, it lasts longer on the floor for like four seconds long or two seconds long. But the downside is it might leech off your health or if you pick up health bar or any health items, the halfway ones or the full ones, either of those may not work. There's, there's like pros and cons. Even I can see on the screen right now, it says reduces proficiency rate. That means the way my gun operates right now, even at default, if I want it to, to become better, it'll always be 15% less each time with this price that attached to me. So I don't want to pick that one up and not every price that you come across, you have to pick up. But look at this. Look at the way, just the way buttery smooth you're moving through the game. Buttery smooth. Buttery smooth, man. I really, really love this game. And I re and I didn't really like it that much playing it the first time because it was just so stressful. Especially when it came to that one boss. I, I just thought, okay, at least once I get used to the boss, it'll be easier. And you know, like every game you're used to, you kill a boss, you get an item, you get something new. Especially like Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry spoiled me, man. Every boss you kill, you get a new weapon. So I just thought, okay, probably the same schematics with this game. There you go. So now this is your regular um, enemies at the bottom. They always do that. They either bite you when they're close to you. They'll lunge at you and do a snapping thing. Or from a distance, they just shoot you like this or shoot at you like this. And they, they tend to move around too. But it's just to get you used to the type of game or type of creatures in the game. Now, remember what I picked up earlier on? I'm going to activate it right now. There it is at the bottom of the screen, left hand corner of the screen. There's one turret right there. They normally shoot three blasts. Two. One. Two. Three. So if I hit this consumable, it stuns them. They can do nothing. They're done. So now I can focus my energy and time on these other guys. I can use a melee. Yet yeah, they be doing that too. When I first played this game, they were tricky, man. These guys were very tricky to tackle. I'm much, much better now, but they were very, very tricky to tackle. So remember, there's no um, no ammo to pick up. Just these little orbs. That, they're called overlays. There you go. You just got, a, got a, uh, an, ex an example of what those creatures can do. That's another consumable. I, I don't really want to explain everything, though. That's another parasite now. We can read this one. This one reduces this one reduces my melee damage by 50%. So that means I need to use my my uh, attack twice, once, twice again, just to kill an enemy. Normally, those um, those creatures you just saw me fight, one cut kills them. Normally one cut. But if I pick up this parasite, I only need two two cuts. Now imagine fighting those creatures, having to use two cuts whilst others are shooting at me. So sometimes you have to make decisions on whether or not you need. The parasite, even though it increases my protection, though. So the gain or the plus side is I have 15% protection, but I will lose by melee attack. If you're skilled with your gun, it makes sense to pick this up. Whereas for me, I use my melee and the gun at the same time, especially in this part of the map. I can safely pick up this parasite because I already finished this part of the map. I'm used to it. So I know I know how the creatures move. I know how they operate. I know how these turret guys work. But if I pick this up and I don't have my consumable on me, I would need to use um, my melee twice to cut this guy. And that's once. That's one cut. Whereas if I pick up this parasite, I would need two cuts to take, take out that turret. And imagine if I didn't have my consumable to disable the turret in the first place. So earlier on, we, we got killed by that creature. Um, that random creature based on me trying to figure out how to save that one guy. So this is another playthrough. This is someone else's buddies, another game, another gamer who's playing the same game. And because the world has changed, my world happened to be in alignment with their world again. And this is their uh, playthrough. Uh, this is what this is where they died. I can do the same thing I did later on. Hit the triangle, scavenge, scavenge or um, avenge. Either either. There's no wrong or right. It's my it's my choice to do so. But because of the key we picked up earlier on that gave me that thing at the left hand corner of the screen or left hand left top corner of the screen that says I need to kill 10 um, uh, creatures to remove it. I don't know what word to use. It's almost like a like a handicap. Yeah, kind of like a handicap. That's the best way I can put it. So what I want to do is go back to that same place I saw the key at. There it is. This thing is a it's just a it makes the game so much fun, so much more engaging when you're moving around so swiftly. You're jumping, dashing, 
Nice one. Oh, this is really good. 35% chance of hostiles exploding upon death. Yeah, that's cool. So that means if I kill a hostile, if there are two enemies next to each other and I kill one, the impact of the death will impact the second one and their health is, the health will reduce and make it, make it easier for me to kill the second one, it's, especially if they're in close proximity. So that's a good um, um, item to pick up there. There's no, there's no cons. It's all pros for me. Whoop. All right, where were we? Are we upstairs here? Cool. I want to see if I can do the revenge thing on that um, on that player who died. See if I can avenge them, especially doing the review, because this is the first time I've done something like this where I'm recording myself and the game itself, and I don't want to fill up my hard drive on the game or with the game video. But like I said, I feel this is going to be like a two, three parter um, game review. That's another consumable for the game as well, or for your playthrough. Um, I don't. I don't feel I'm going to be touching on that part. But those those things sometimes in, improve your weapon uh, proficiency. I mean, the way your your gun fires, the way it shoots, the uh, the bonuses you might get like ex explosive rounds. You might get like um, other things outside of your gun, like projectiles, for example. They'll they'll follow the target wherever it goes. Homing missiles, things like that. All right, cool. Let's see. Yeah, we can see. Oh, she had a different gun on her. She had one of my favorite guns on her and she still died. Oh, this is a different one. Sometimes, goddamn. Whoop. Where is it? Them ones are different. You see how I ran quick and I finished this game already. Is that it? Where did it go? Whoa. Hey, these, these ones are relentless. Is it that already? God damn, I thought it was dead already. Yeah, you guys are getting first hand. Whoop, whoop. What am I doing? Yeah, I can noob. This is how I play the game a lot of times. I just hide behind, behind corners. Yep. And this thing can't fly. It can't jump where I'm at. It's, it's stuck on the ground. Whoop. It's almost dead. There we go. It's dead now. Malfunction removed. Nice. So that means I, I reached my um required task, I guess. It said kill 10 hostiles, right? Shit. That was close. That was so close. And when, when you kill creatures like that, they normally drop little items like that as well. That was, that was good. That was good, especially for re um, me doing a review slash gameplay. I didn't just want to talk about the game. I wanted to show you guys the game. And we, so this happens sometimes as well when you go and pick up little um, extra currency. You might have little corners in the room. These little things drop like little um, gifts or yeah, things like this. This one I can pick up now. What happened to me earlier with that malfunction? It could happen again. It might or could happen again or won't. If I pick it up now, it didn't. So it's like a right. It's like a gamble thing. Like um, J Rock said when I was playing the game, it's like a risk reward thing, and I'm not one for that stuff. I like a precise yes or no. Here, so this one's letting me know the malfunction probability is high. So if I pick this one up, it could mess me up like the other, like like the first one did. Or I could cleanse it with the ether I have at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, which I have six right now, and I have the option to use three to cleanse this, and that adds to my health bar. And the the more I I add to my health bar, the longer it, it gets. So I thought. That's how you play the game the first time I played this game. I thought you, you're supposed to play the game, improve on your health, and so that way when you die, your health bar is still the same length it was before you died. But when I started to learn more about the roguelike rogue thing, whatever it's called, I realized that you always start at reset default. As much as I managed to play the game, play through the game with that um, default setting, deep down inside me, I still wish there were more games like this or this game had the option to turn it off, especially after you finished the game. I wish you were given the option to say, you know what, you can turn off the roguelike thing and just have fun with this game. The enemies are going to get stronger. Um, even though if you die, you can choose your weapon upon respawn. Dude, you have no idea how this game would have been more accessible to other players such as myself who didn't, who, who, who don't like that roguelike thing. If they just made it a little, if they even included the option. So this, this review is about the game itself. 
and this the concept of the game how awesome this game is despite the roguelike thing i wish and i hope more games more space um, third person shooter games are like this or if not better than this whatever you can you know a company can observe from this game learn from improve upon what they've done um, improve on wh where they failed dude since these people love money so much you will get the money you will get the money just honor the players man honor the players bring in the fun keep the action keep the intensity but just bro dude if if you if i could spawn in with two guns as well two guns man two guns god damn You'll be finished, man. All right, let me get out of here. So like I said earlier when I started the review, the story is neither here nor there for me. It's a good story, but I'm, I don't want to come on here and talk about the story itself. I just want to showcase the game to you guys. And I wish I had more people on my friends that's playing this game so we can just do some cool um, co-op streaming sessions as well. But these are kind of, these are other creatures that you're fighting as well. There's the same turret guy. I want to see if I can get that turret. I can manage him. You can't shoot the shield. You can only take the shield down with the melee. But I don't want to waste my turret thing on him because it's just one one turret. And you can normally evade the shots. He always shoots three shots and stops. One, two, three. Always three shots. And this one, that red, be those beams, if you let them linger, they mess your ass up. Always three shots. That gun has had me. One, two, three. Then I know I can get close enough to just boom. One time, looking like a ninja out here. Looking like a ninja out here. They definitely make Celine very, very proficient and um, competent. She doesn't play this whole meek character, Damson and Stress. She's very, very efficient in what she does. And despite me teasing earlier on saying you, you have to be able to pull your local to go and put alien objects on your body to augment yourself. At least she takes initiative to say, yo, I don't know where I'm at. I hope you guys can hear that sound. I hope you guys can hear that sound. These are all the creatures that you that you'll encounter in the game. Weird things like this. And this is this these creatures came from someone's mind or people's minds. Look at that. So if you stay in the um light of this, the eyesight or the the eyesight. I don't know what, why I'm struggling to say the word. There's something else I wanted to say, but I can't I can't get it. If you stay in the eyesight, these guys will beam a red laser that will affect your health as well. But if you wanna it's almost like security guards per se or like um if you have cctv but not necessarily cctv just a little nuisance they're not everywhere on the whole uh, game they close their eyes and then you can just traverse when you need to traverse quick there's more of them out there and just as you're moving around the world just the background sound alone keeps you um keeps you at uh keeps you alert I almost said at, at ease at, at attention it keeps you alert every time I love breaking the statues because it's just that whole breakable object. So when I was up there, this is what they're, they're, they're spying on or looking after. So you have to learn how to jump left and right to avoid their gaze. I think I can show you what that looks like right now, but I'm not in the mood. Actually, you know what? Why not? It is a review, so let's do it. Let me close this one's eye first real quick. There we go. And now another room. It might be a weapon. Or a boss. No, it's more orbalites. Yay! So some of these rooms are random. They're not always the same. You enter any room, you don't know which, what's gonna come out at you. It could just be the orbalites like this. We can just pick them up. Or it could be an enemy or a weapons chest. And then you get out of town. And it spawns you right back where you started. There we go. Close their eyes. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. That's the red beam. I can evade it fast enough. Before, when I played it the first time, I was hmm, crapping my pants. That's another weapon's chest. Normally, the game always had me default a particular run on respawn into this room a lot when you start the game. So this run is very different. This is a different... I haven't seen this formation of um, the map before. This is new to me. So I guess it answers my question earlier on. Ooh, this is my favorite gun. Nice one. Makes it better for the review makes it sweeter for the review not only does it show you that the current gun that i have which is the left the pistol the side arm which is on zero this machine gun to the right side the hollow seeker is a number one now the difference in stats is my fire rate is different from the stability stability meaning when i shoot the gun like your wobble is a number one but at least the weapon 
grade is number one compared to zero. And because I don't like the pistol, I despise the pistol. And now look what the machine gun does. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It takes it a while to reload. And reload bar longer. Obviously because of my proficiency at the bottom. But look at the pistol. Look at that. You can reload bar is long too, but by the time you're, you're handling multiple targets, dead. Where is the machine gun now? Look at this. I mean, I'm calling it the machine gun. It's called the Holo Seeker, but it feels like a machine gun. It shoots like a machine gun. It fires like a machine gun. Then I can handle these bad boys easy. Where are you lot going? Yeah? I'll do my review right now. Look at that. See how they're coming at you? They're coming at you quick. This ain't Helldivers. Helldivers ain't got this. Helldivers ain't got this. And you got little creatures like that as well picking your ass up. Helldivers ain't got this. Helldivers ain't got this. Helldivers ain't got this. Let me see if I can show up the... Uh, show up the can I show it up? Look how quick that one came. Oh, there's a boss I can fight. There's a mini boss here. A mini boss showed up. There we go. There's a mini boss right there. There's a mini boss right there. There you go. Ooh. God damn. God damn. I'm playing like a noob. Oh, they locked the door on me. It's a lockdown, so that means I can't go anywhere. Ooh. Come close. Come close. I'm doing a review for my YouTube channel. There you go. Sit your ass down, girl. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. You don't know who you're messing with. Sit your ass. Get off me, man. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Now it's on me and you, bitches. It's on me and you. You're trying to sneak attack from the back. From the back. From the back? From the back. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Where y'all... What? You're lucky. Where y'all going? From the back. Where's your friend? I see you. You missed. Over here, pendejo. I see you. Give me that. I see you. You missed again. Give him. Where are you going? Sit down. Shut up. And then we're done. Nice. I didn't. I didn't expect that to happen. Didn't think that would happen. Um, the foliage. Some of the foliage sometimes will grab you like that if you get into it by mistake. And when you get straight to the top, she. This thing bites you. See the teeth right there? Yeah. You get bitten and it eats your health a bit. Shut up. That thing I killed gave me a gun. Some of the guns are crap. They're effective, but crap. This one I've got on me is one of the best guns in the game. By far. Especially based on experience. As you can see now, at the bottom um, left-hand corner of the screen, my health bar has changed compared to how it started before. Each green notch at the bottom, those green notches next to the, the plus sign or the cross sign, when it hits the third bar at the top, the health gets longer. This is what I was hoping for every time I played the game, that that, that um, health upgrade would remain permanent so as much as it's a roguelike game i get it i was about to stop recording hold on a few moments later Ooh, i was gonna actually show you more but i can't record because my thing is full <laughs> it said the hard drive is a big you've got too much videos please stop stop recording i'll leave it there like i said it's going to be a part one or part two i think based on what i'm looking at right now i think I've, re I've been recording for almost an hour long yeah i think it's almost an hour long yeah almost an hour long that's that's too long that's too long so there you have it. This is Returnal. I'm just going to leave the review here because I, I think I want to split it into two or three videos. Returnal is a beautiful game on a PS5 and anybody who's out there, my friends, is if you got it, let a brother know so we can do some cool co-op streaming games. If you're good, if you're good. I really wanted to show off more of this game, but I didn't know I was playing for so long. That's how awesome the game is. I didn't know I'd, I'd entered the game for an hour. It's a cool game. Like I said, the story is, is really good, dark, but it doesn't have a definitive ending and games that don't have definitive endings i don't have time for it's like is that what you're doing i get it cool never mind i, I still enjoyed the experience i would have liked that um the game had a definite definitive ending but in my mind i feel the way i started playing the game is how the game ended for me i'll leave it there without spoilers i don't want to spoil the game so if you're going to get this game let a brother know in the comments um it's a dope game it's on, only on a ps5 i don't think it's on a ps4 i think it's a ps5 exclusive it's a beautiful 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 game i wish more games were like this more space games you don't have to go from planet to planet but i wish more space games were like this this is a very very awesome game i can't sing more praises about this game i can't the roguelike thing i'm not here for if they were ever to do a sequel i would hope that they remove the roguelike thing i feel many people didn't play this game because of the roguelike thing just like neo souls and souls born and all those neo 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 whatever games they are it's a specific audience those games are made for, and I get it. Not everyone likes God of War. Not everyone likes um, Ratchet and Clank. Not everyone likes um, Ninja Gaiden, Onimusha, or Tenchu, or Devil May Cry. Not everyone loves Devil May Cry, but me, I love those games that I mentioned. Tenchu was very hard. Sekiro was hard. When I played Sekiro, I realized, hey, I'm not the target audience for this kind of game. 
I'm glad I still get to play my Devil May Cry games, God of War games, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, um, Ghost of Tsushima, and also Ratchet and Clank. They allow us to play, challenge ourselves, enjoy the experience, and it's good value for good for money. And at the same time, most of them have new game plus mode. Some games are just made to be extra hard and um, they're harder, harder in Japan or China than they are in Europe or, or, or in America. I don't know what that means. I, I thought the whole point is not only to experience the story, a different world, it's like watching a movie or watching a cartoon or reading a book. Most importantly, you're here to play the game. That's my impression about games. That's what I, I take away from games. You're here to play and immerse yourself in the experience. Not play a game is going to make you lose your hair or get angry every freaking time I cry like a crybaby. It don't, don't make sense to me. Anyway, that's me done. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, review. This is a very long ass review, a different kind of review. I wanted to play the game so you guys could see what I'm what I'm talking about, not just talk about it at the same time. I, I didn't I didn't mind playing the game because I love the game. I really do love the game. If this company ever decides to do a sequel or a space based game, I hope to all the, the, the deities, the divine beings in the celestial world. Don't make it a roguelike. This game didn't get get enough eyes and hands on it because of that. And I get it, it's a different genre or type of game, just like other games are. But if you'd open it up, other people would have gotten to experience your type of game, your story, the way your character moves. Then we can sit down and say, you know what, we need more games like this because of the way she moves, the mobility, the agility, the tools, the augmentations, all those things. And then if you could even upgrade your gun, imagine if there was a game like this, minus the roguelike stuff, and you could upgrade your gun, this machine gun that I picked up, and then the reload is, you know, you have a longer um, clip or longer round. Dude, 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 dude. Nah, 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 nah. This game is epic. This game is epic. I just feel what spoils it is the, um, that roguelike thing for me. For me, I could be wrong. Anyway, that's me done. Glad I finally got to upload this um, video. It's been on my mind to do for a long time, ever since I finished the game. And shout out to those people who came to watch my stream when I was playing the game. The randoms and the uh, main main supporters, the constants and my cousin or cousins, and then some of my um, uh, friends on Instagram who came and the assassin Gajil. Yeah, those are my regular people who always join me on the stream. I really appreciate you guys because you guys took time out of your day. Hugh Boy, AKA Maverick, took time to come and watch me play the game. Watch me cry, watch me moan, or heard me cry. Heard me moan because I never had, I haven't found a way to um, connect my camera to the console. So I appreciate your time once again, your attention, and your company as I play through the game, especially J Rock. J Rock said, Yo, dude, don't worry, you got this. I'm like, Got what? I'm dying on the first bus on a cons constant uh, rep repetition cycle. He's like, Don't worry, you got this, you got this. And the console was like, Yo, you got this. I said, All right, cool. We'll see if this got this is going to work. Anyway, I have been your one and only host, the Cosmic Jedi, signing out. Mm. Test your might. <laughs> <laughs>